did you decide to begin your most recent project? What was the challenge or inspiration? Yeah, my newest project, the orchid carving. Um, the challenge was that it's a entirely different medium and you gotta learn completely new techniques and try you know improve upon them as you're doing it. And it's like just really different from painting, which is what I'm kind of used to. How did you imagine the end product and generate imagery to produce your work? So first, I chose a topic that I wanted to work on, like a cake or a flower or a vase of flowers. And I looked up different pictures of them online. And whatever I liked about each picture, I tried to incorporate into the final product. How have you planned your works? At what point has it become more focused? And what sorts of experimenting has needed to be done? Yeah, so for each one of these paintings, I do multiple sketches, not on the canvases. I do multiple sketches beforehand to, you know, get a kind of a vision about it. And then I start sketching and yeah, then you just go from there. It became more focused after I finished my first painting, which is this base painting. It became more focused when I actually knew what I was actually doing at that point and I was starting to learn. So yeah, it was, it was a good learning experience. What were visions and refinements needed to be done throughout the production of your artwork? Yeah, each of these works required a lot of revisions along the way, but this flower painting, um, it just, it took the most revisions. There's probably like 10 layers of paint under that. It's just, I constantly had to like change the shape of the flowers. Maybe the colors didn't look right. Maybe the blending looked a little wonky. So yeah. In what ways will it be presented and shared? So these paintings, they will be shared in the gallery. They have been for a little bit now. And I just kind of finished this young tile and it was just hung on the ceiling. And people can walk by take a quick glance and see it. So I think that's pretty cool. And I, you know, shared all of these on my social media. So yeah, it can spread a little more. So what feedback have you received so far? Well, I got some feedback from Katie, my interviewer. Um, she said that, you know, it portrays a positive message, my artwork. Like, you know, do what makes you happy because it says, you know, indulge, you know, treat yourself. And she also said that the colors were like vibrant, pastel, and it gave an overall cute vibe, which was what I was going for. What's next for you as an artist? Honestly, I'm, I'm on the fence at this point. Like carving was very fun and it's a whole new thing to learn. And I'd like to improve on my carving skills. But then again, I kind of miss painting and I'm carving, and I might want to try to continue my dessert series. Literally, this color and then adding white to it literally makes it perfect.